we will cover the direct current generators. In the previous lesson, we covered alternating generators or alternating current generators. So if you are unsure of how the generator works and how the electromagnetic induction takes place, then please watch the alternating current generator video, which explains in depth how the generator actually functions. So for DC generators, we need to know that they function in the same way as AC generators, alternating current generators, except that we now use a split ring commutator instead of a slip ring commutator. So your split ring commutator ensures that although your current in your coil changes direction, so just as the current in the coil changes direction in your AC generator, the exact same thing happens in your DC generator. However, your power supplied to your external circuit does not alternate. And that is all carried out through your split ring commutator. So if we have a look quickly at our generator, we have a movement of current away from us in your white part of your coil and towards us in the black part of the coil. And if we look 180 degrees later, we have a movement away from us in the black part of the coil and towards us in the negative in the white part of the coil. So we see that there's still a change in direction in the actual coil. However, our split ring commutator, as we will look at now, ensures that we have no alternation in current in our external circuit. So the split ring commutator simply swaps sides at the time that the current switches. Your current in your external circuit does not change direction. So if we look over here, we have a white part or a positive part of the split ring commutator and a black part, the negative part. So if we look at our coil in this position, as it's pictured over here, we have a flow away in the positive. We know that it flows from positive to negative. So we have a movement of current away and through the coil this way and towards us over here. And at 180 degrees later, if we look over here, we have the black part of the coil now connected to the white side of the split ring commutator and the white part of the coil now connected to the opposite black side of the split ring commutator. So your split ring commutator never moves. Now, the although the movement of your currents in your coil has changed, it is still moving out of your left hand side of your split ring commutator and into your right hand side. So your position of your coil simply changes the position that it, that it is connected to your split ring commutator. So your current will always move into it on the right and away from it on the left. And that is just dependent on which side of the coil is on the right and which is on the left and which is then connected to either side of the split ring commutator. So as we can see in our images over here, we have, so if we say our current is in a clockwise direction, we have a movement of current like this into the, into the split ring commutator over here and out of it over here. So we have a clockwise direction and 180 degrees later, although the black part is now away from us instead of towards us, we still have the same and same clockwise direction of movement. It still comes into the split ring over here and out of it over here. And although each side of the coil is now transporting current in an opposite direction, so your white side was moving away, it is now moving towards, in your split ring commutator, the direction of movement is exactly the same. So your EMF is only positive and the current is only in one direction. We see that our graph does not go below the X axis, indication that your direction of current is the same. So we still have a peak where our, our flux is zero. We know that our EMF is a maximum where our flux is a minimum. We have a minimum EMF where our flux is a max. And we have another maximum where our flux is a minimum. However, it's very important to note that we now have no change in direction. Our induced EMF is always in the same direction, only the magnitude changes and not the direction. Unlike in the AC generator, your magnitude and your direction change, your direct current generator now has no alternating current and therefore it is always in the same direction. And this is due to your split ring commutator. And you must know how to explain the use of the split ring commutator as well as how it works and be able to explain that every 180 degrees, it changes the connection with the coil and therefore keeps the flow of direction of current the same throughout.